Hello GCAA families. I'm Mr. Howe, the chemistry teacher. This is a video explaining how online learning is progressing in chemistry. So the chemistry class contains three components. The first one is instruction. Instruction will be accessed primarily by videos that are posted on my website, which is HowChem. Net. There's also a text reference on the website, and of course the internet's out there for additional information on the topics that I present, but my primary instruction is going to be video at howchem.net. The second component of the class is going to be practice. Practice will be primarily through activity links that I post on howchem.net. Also, I've set up a Q&A opportunity through Google Meet. And I'll show you how to access these in a few moments. Then in order to assign grades or assess how students are doing, the assessment component will be through Google Classroom. Last week after spring break, the week after spring break, I sent an invitation to all students in my classes to join Google Classroom, which I had not used before, so that was a new experience for, for, my, for myself. And the students have used it in other classes, but not in chemistry, because I primarily use the web page that I have. So now I'm combining the two. So students need to sign up for Google Classroom, and most have. I do have about 10 or 12 students that have not yet signed up, so please do that if you're one of those 10 or 12. So assessment, then will be through Google Classroom. There's also an e you can also email me if you have questions. I'll write that down while I'm thinking about it. It's Michael. dot how at whoops confluence charter dot org some students have been emailing me and we've had pretty good success I think in uh, corresponding back and forth in that way so instruction primarily through video practice activity links and Q&A and then assessment in Google Classroom. So let's take a look at how to access that. My website is howchem.net and I have three classes posted. It's a chemistry class, an advanced chemistry class, and an AP chemistry class. I'm going to go through uh, general chemistry as an example, but all work the same way. If you click on homework, this page will pop up. On this page there are four directions you could go. The primary and most common direction is going to be this one which is our homework page for the quarantine period. I post on here homework and videos. The latest homework that I posted was Wednesday this past week, which was a quiz to be completed by Sunday night. So that's the assessment part over here. Practice looked like this. Uh, first of all, I had given a bunch of uh, overview videos down below about different topics in gas laws. Each one of those is five to ten minutes. And I went into school on Monday, right after spring break, to record those videos. Then those videos led into some math applications, so just picking one to look at. If you click on these videos, you'll find ten to fifteen minute videos of me this explaining about a how of to do problems. problems. To the practice. So I'll close that up, but that's what the online instruction will look like. And then for practice, I'll have links like this posted. The answer to this particular question is five, if you work it out, five liters. They're set up so that students can punch in answers, then check to see if they're correct. And so if this one was correct, uh, five was the correct answer. When the box goes away, in this case, you knew the answer was correct. So instruction on how to do this is, again, on the video page, or on the video that I posted. Also on this, remember the first link, click homework here. On that page, 
is also a video page. And the video page is where I've been trying to just list the videos all together in one spot so you don't have to scroll through homework in case you'd like to go back and see one of the videos. You could do that. All right, so those are the videos. I might also mention that some of you have a stoichiometry test from below, before spring break that needs to be completed. If you're in that category, I emailed you a copy of the test for you to do. Please do that and send it back to me per the instructions in the video. Back to the, once again, the primary homework page off of the website. There's a meeting option link here. The last meeting I had was yesterday. What meetings mean is I, I've been trying to do Q&A with whoever shows up to ask questions. So if you click on a meeting link, it'll look like this. Then you hit join and then you'll be in the, in the meeting. I also posted a pad that is a Q&A pad where questions could be written and I would try and answer them in, in writing. So those are the four links off of the homework page. They tie into the three main categories like this. So instruction will be videos. You'll find the videos in the homework, woven through the homework, and you'll find the videos here all together so that you don't have to scroll through the text of the homework. Practice of the activity links, you'll find them on the homework page. Q&A, go to this meeting here. I'll try and post the times on this page. Then assessment will be all through Google Classroom. In order to monitor how things are going in terms of what's assigned, so you look in two places for that. So assignments I'm going to try and duplicate in Google Classroom and on the homework page. So you should be able to find assignments in either one of those place, places and they should be the same assignment. So three parts. Instruction by video from the homework page. Practice activity links on the homework page. Q&A from this link right here if you need to see me and I'm going to try and do one of those pretty much every day. Seem, with teachers have tried to keep from overlapping with each other and it seems like an open time is in the afternoon and that's when I've been scheduling them. Then assessment will be through Google Classroom and this is my email. So I think that uh, hopefully that helps anyway. And that's all I'm going to say about what we're doing at this point. If we need to update, I'll try and make another one of these. Thanks.